Welcome to a new two-minute lesson. Today's lesson, Application of Protective Coatings. Methods of application, some general factors to consider. The appropriateness for a particular coating, the appropriateness for the particular structural components that will be painted, desired appearance and visual appearance, the speed, ease, and economics of the application methods. Additional general factors, simplicity of equipment and applicator skills, safety and environmental requirements, weather and localized climate zones, transfer efficiencies of liquid coatings, and coating coverage rates. To calculate the transfer efficiency, you take the volume of solid coating on an item times 100 divided by the volume of solid coating consumed. Factors that affect transfer efficiency, item shape and size, coating application equipment, and applicator distance from the equipment. Relative order of transfer efficiency, high to low. Manual, brush or roller, electrostatic spray, high volume low pressure, HVLP spray, air assisted airless spray, airless spray, and conventional air spray. Handling of paints, storage, always follow EPA, OSHA, and other regulations and rules. Mixing, a centralized painting mixing location, thinning, is it permissible? Recommended coating storage conditions. UL listed storage containers, no smoking or source of open flame, ground level storage for easy access, and have spill absorbent materials available. Recommended coating storage conditions, store in well ventilated storage containers, keep off the floor, use the oldest material first, keep no more than one year supply, have all SDSs on hand and available. Coatings must be applied properly to provide long-term protection and may be applied by brush, roller, or a variety of spray equipment. Spraying usually has the best economics if practical. This has been another two-minute lesson. Check back each and every Sunday for a new lesson.